Gustav, you start your career very early, at the age of 14, before moving to Spain at 16 to play with uh, Saragossa. What was it like to be away from your family at such an early age? It was difficult, of course. Uh, it was something that I had to get used to, but uh, also it was an uh, opportunity for me and uh, uh, like a kid's dream to play in a, a Spanish top uh, league in ACB and uh, and uh, play and practice with some of the best uh, players and some in the best tournaments. Um, so it was a uh, uh, a balance between uh, a dream, but also some some difficult uh, times. Yes. And what did you learn by playing in Spain? Uh, of course, I got a lot of experience on the court. Um, the the Spanish uh, system, the Spanish way of, of basketball, about thinking and, and reading the game. Uh, but mostly, I think when you are in that age, all uh, all by yourself, you learn a lot off the court about being a a human, uh, being a, a person, taking care of yourself and stuff like that. So for sure, that's that's what I got uh, the most out of. After that, you returned to Denmark, where you took things to the next level by being named MVP of the finals, by winning the U European North Basketball League. What do you keep in mind about this European campaign? Yeah, it was um, it was a good campaign. We. We had a, it was a good setup, a good team we had there, and for me it was uh, about gaining some confidence. And throughout the the campaign, the European campaign, I gained more and more confidence. Um, and when you have the confidence, you are another player. You can play at at the top level. Um, so, so that uh, gave me a lot to compete in Euro in Europe and. Um, and, and yeah, it gave me a lot of com confidence. And how has your return to Denmark helped you to, to progress to be a better player? Like I said, it gave me um, some some more uh, balance and and trust in my in my life being in Denmark, where where I come from. So that also gave me some confidence. Um, like like I said, and that I I used a lot um, and. Yes, it was um, a good a good spot for me. It's good players, good uh, staff, so so that that helped me a lot. Okay, you signed this summer for two years with uh, Spiru. What convic what convinced you to to come to to Sarajevo? Uh, actually, I made the decision pretty fast. Um, I, I I knew a, a bit about the the club. It's a historic club, and. Um, I knew that I wanted to take a, a step up in level to play in, in B next league, and uh, also the club had uh, ambitions to play Europe, which I also have. So uh, there was a lot of things, different things that makes sense uh, for me. So I was, uh, yeah, for me it was a, a pretty easy, uh, uh, yeah, step to take. And what about your integration in the club? Was it easy for you to integrate the, the club and, and his culture? Yes, I feel like uh, pretty fast. I, I feel comfortable here uh, with, the, with the players. Uh, we are a lot of young guys, so it's easy to, to connect with the staff, coaches, physios, uh, guys from the office. Everyone is, is very helpful and uh, like a family here. So. Uh, it's been very easy to uh, to settle down and, and feel comfortable here. And lastly, what are your goals for the, the season, personally and as a team? Yeah, of course, it's uh, you want to set yourself some goals, but for me, I, I like to take it like one week at a time, maybe even one day at a time. I think about the, the next game. Uh, for myself and for the team, we think about the the next game ahead of us. That's what we can do th something about. So I take one game at a time, and I don't think too much about the the future. Um, so um, one game at a time, and trying to to win that game. That's my goal. And the FIBA Europe Cup is a goal for for the team and for you to go the further. Yes, of course. Now we had a a great start to the to the Euro European Companion. A companion, and um, and we want to keep that going. We want to push and see if we can can make it to the to the next uh, next round.